It's no secret that modern sports video games are pretty bad. Madden is the only true NFL game on the market, NBA 2K is the only true NBA game on the market, MLB The Show is also the only true MLB game on the market. And they are all underwhelming at best and downright garbage at worst. What the hell? What's going on with Fred Warner? While it may seem like you have no choices to make as a sports game consumer, that is only an illusion. Emulation allows you to play older games on newer hardware, so even if you don't own a PlayStation 2 or Xbox 360, you can still play games from those consoles, and you can run those games in 4K now, so they will actually look better today than they have ever looked before. One of my first ever videos was on emulating sports games in 4K, and since then a lot has changed. Let's jump right in. ESPN NFL 2K5 is considered by most people to be the greatest NFL video game ever made, and I would have to agree. For the longest time, you could only play this game through a PlayStation 2, original Xbox, or an Xbox 360. Eventually, you could play it on something called PC SX2, a PlayStation 2 emulator for PC, and 2K5 could then be played on a computer. While this was awesome at the time, I was always waiting for a solid original Xbox emulator to come out, because for this game, the original Xbox version was so much better than the PS2 version, with better graphics, visual detail, gameplay, and presentation. Today, thanks to an emulator called Zemu, you can finally play the original Xbox version of 2K5 on your computer on an emulator in 4K. It works very well and runs very smoothly. And as you can see, for a game from 2004, this looks very crisp. Here's a comparison to the PlayStation 2 version of the game, and as you can see, the Xbox version just has a lot more detail. Another way to play 2K5 comes from a mod. Only available for the PCSX2 emulated PS2 version of the game, NFL 2K5 Resurrected is a mod for the game that updates rosters, uniform stadiums, team logos, and more. While I still prefer emulating the Xbox version of the game through Zemu, this mod is 100% worth checking out, especially if you'd prefer to play the game with modern rosters and teams. As you saw in the video's thumbnail, you can play 2K5 on the go now. That's right, thanks to the Steam Deck. For those that don't know, the Steam Deck is made by Valve, and it's essentially a gaming computer in the body of what looks like an oversized Nintendo Switch. It is incredibly powerful, so it can run modern PC games like Elden Ring or God of War just fine, but it can also run emulators of older systems just like any computer would, all in your hands, all on the go. I'll show you guys more sports games running on the Steam Deck later in the video, but as you can see here, the original Xbox version of ESPN NFL 2K5 runs on this device with very few issues. There are some slight graphical glitches with menus and broadcast art, but it's not very noticeable and will likely be fixed in a future update to the emulator. The game runs smooth and looks great here. You can also get the PS2 version of 2K5 running on the Steam Deck, including the 2K5 Resurrected mod I mentioned earlier. Pretty awesome. So while we just called ESPN NFL 2K5 the greatest NFL video game ever, I would say the greatest playing football video game ever has to be all Pro Football 2K8. It can't be the best NFL game ever because it doesn't have the NFL license, it's an unlicensed game, but it is, in my opinion, the best playing football game ever, easily. And this game was not even possible to emulate back when I made that first video, so this is another great example of just how quickly technology is evolving. However, as hardware has gotten better, sports video game software really has it, which is why we are all still playing these older titles. As you guys can see here, 2K8 looks incredible in 4K. I always thought this game had great graphics for 2007. Zooming in on the jerseys, for example, shows a ton of detail and texture. This is the PS3 version of the game emulated through RPCS3. The game also runs with Xenia, an Xbox 360 emulator, but so far, I found RPCS3 to run it the best. While this game was unlicensed and only had made up teams, there are some custom made mods for the game that aren't technically mods, they're hex edits but they recreate NFL team uniforms and logos, as well as possible using the game's built-in team creator, and they include accurate rosters as well. My personal favorite is the 1993 roster made by 2K Football Now, 
which is the same roster year used in Tecmo Super Bowl. The game surprisingly runs great on the Steam Deck with no issues. Imagine thinking you could emulate a PS3 game on a handheld system a few years ago. I find this kind of progress insane. Madden 08 is a game I showed off in my original video where I emulated sports games in 4K, but I wanted to bring it back in this one to show it running smoothly on the Steam Deck. There is also a mod for the PCSX2 emulated PS2 version of the game called Madden 08 Next, which is basically the Football Idiots mod for Madden 08 on PC converted to the PS2 game. When emulating NCAA Football 06 in PCSX2, you can get a mod for this game called NCAA 06 Next, which has updated rosters, uniforms, field art, and more, just like Madden 08 Next, which is made by the same team. Future promised updates include the college football playoff system, an updated play clock, score bug updates, and more. NCAA 06 is, in my opinion, the best college football game ever made, so being able to easily patch the game with a mod gives you essentially a brand new college football game using that classic engine. NCAA Next and Madden 08 Next also run on the Steam Deck, and the mod's website even has an official Steam Deck guide. NCAA 14! This game is currently too demanding to run on the Steam Deck, but it runs on my computer just fine. Using the College Football Revamped mod, this game gains a modern ESPN broadcast package, new rosters, uniforms, stadiums, and more. It's easily the most in-depth of all these mods, and it essentially gives you a brand new college football game every year for free. And when emulated in 4K, NCAA 14 looks more like a PS4 game than a PS3 game. There is another project being made that is meant to be used in conjunction with College Football Revamped known as Madden NFL Rebuilt, which is a mod for Madden 25 that gives the game updated teams, uniforms, rosters, and more. The end goal here would be for users to be able to import draft classes from their revamped dynasty to Madden NFL Rebuilt. I haven't tried it yet personally, but it seems worth mentioning. Now, let's take a look at some NBA games. NBA Elite 11, the cancelled, never released, infamous NBA title, can be emulated with RPCS3 and even runs on my Steam Deck. This is a pretty fascinating game to emulate as you get a glimpse into a game that doesn't exist. And it looks pretty good in 4K. NBA 2K11, the greatest 2K ever, looks better in 4K. Sometimes, it's nice to go back and play an older 2K offline, without having to worry about the meta, fear of missing out, spending VC, etc. Just jump in and play 2K back when gameplay and depth were what sold the game. When playing in 4K, this game looks almost as good as modern 2K games. The player faces and models aren't as accurate or detailed, but look at how the jersey moves with the player. MLB 10 The Show is one of the greatest MLB video games of all time. And while most would consider MVP Baseball 05 to be the best, I already showed that game off in my original emulating video, so I figured I'd show something else. With how good PS3 emulation has become, it's really fun to go back and play these older games in 4K. As you guys can see, there are plenty of options for offline sports games beyond the modern releases. Even if you want to play with modern teams, rosters, and uniforms, there should be some sort of mod for an older game you can try out. For some games like ESPN NFL 2K5, there is now a new best way to play the game, thanks to the evolution of Xbox emulation. Being able to run the Xbox version of 2K5 rendered in 4K is easily the best possible way to experience this game in my opinion. I also can't recommend the Steam Deck enough. Being able to play games from literally every console generation on the go is a game changer. I never thought I could be playing all Pro Football 2K8 outside in my hands, but here we are. Hopefully one day, AAA sports games will catch up to the potential modern hardware has created for them. If you guys have any questions or need help setting these emulators up and trying this yourself, join my Discord server by clicking that link in the pinned comment down below, and I or another member can help you out there. And as always, thanks for watching.